good morning so today we will discuss the challenges of pesticide residue in food commodities in india so uh, it's a very big problem uh, problem of pesticide residue you now these days it's becoming the severe problem in indian agro ecosystem deposition of lethal chemical in our agro ecosystem uh, deposition of agro chemicals lethal chemicals in our food commodities it become the more serious problem severe problem so how it uh, becoming the problem uh, slowly and slowly uh, you can say pesticide residue is percolating in our system and uh, due to injudicious uh, dumping of the chemicals in agro system uh, slowly slowly these uh, chemicals uh, become part of our food uh, which led to the serious uh, health hazards health problem and also problem to our agro system so we'll discuss these aspect uh, in several content uh, these are the various content of our discussions so let's uh, discuss the uh, consumption of pesticides in world and in india so here we can see that more than 44% uh, consumption in world uh, we can say herbicide consumption of herbicide is more than 44% whereas uh, insecticidal consumption is 22% fungicide consumption is 27% in indian uh, scenario uh, insecticide consumption is maximum it is up to 65% so how ever we can say per capita consumption of pesticide in world uh, while we observe so india have only 0.6 like that percent so uh, 0.6 uh, we can say kg per hectare like that this is the per capita consumption of the pesticides so now pesticide consumption in india when we observe that uh, maximum consumption of pesticide in rice crop or paddy crop it is 28% followed by the uh, cotton it is 20% so and uh, in uh, maximum consumption of pesticides in andhra pradesh have been observed and followed by the maharashtra and punjab these three states uh, uh, have recorded the maximum consumption of pesticides andhra pradesh maharashtra and punjab so however we can say indian government uh, uh, however indian government uh, established uh, uh, so many laws uh, like that uh, uh, acts and rules uh, to regulate the use of pesticides so in this law prevention of food adulteration act 1954 insecticidal act 1968 and uh, these are the various act uh, which have been enacted by the government of india uh, consumer protection act like that however we have several act uh, but still we are facing the problem of pesticide contamination like that so now let's see what pesticide residue is uh, it is a uh, any specified substance in food like that agriculture commodities animal feed soil and water resulting from the use of pesticide it is uh, nothing but deposition of the chemical in our food commodities uh, above the maximum residue level above the uh, prescribed uh, maximum residue level so uh, this term includes any derivatives of pesticides such as uh, conversion products metabolites uh, reaction products and impurities that are toxicological significance uh, this uh, definition have been given by the fao so uh, these are the various terms uh, parameters related to the pesticide residue mrl maximum residue uh, limit or mrl values it is the uh, limit of the any chemical in a particular food commodity which have been uh, prescribed by the fao or so uh, limit of any chemical should not be exceed over the particular mr and values and acceptable daily intake these are the various limits and uh, how we calculate the uh, mr it is the adi by md so this is these are the various parameters related to pesticide 
commodities so now these are the mrl of different pesticides uh, uh, like that it has been reported uh, mrl uh, mrl of the various pesticide prescribed by the fao or who so you can say these these are the mrls in ppm mg per kg so it's 0.1 it is 1 mg per kg or ppm in, in dichlor for dichlor was in the code it is 0.5 and uh, malathion it is 4 ppm like that so every food commodity have different uh, MRL values uh, prescribed by the FAO. So food grains have different uh, MRL values. Milled food grains have different fish, uh, vegetables, uh, pigeon pea, like that. Every food commodity have different uh, MRL values, and these MRL values have been decided by the FAO and WHO. So every country, every agroclimatic condition have the different MRL or uh, MRL values. So these are the MRL for the fruits, meat, and eggs. So you can say that it's a very less uh, uh, chloroparifos, it is 0 0.01 ppm in fruits, in meat it is 7 ppm. However, DDT have been banned, but this is the MRL of these insecticides in different food commodities. So you can say it is in brinjal, potato, cauliflower, every food commodity have its own MRL. We have to wait uh, up to this level in uh, while harvesting the any commodity from the field. We have to check the MRL of uh, MRL of, of prescribed MRL of um, by the FAO or WHO. We have to check this level while consuming any commodity like that. It should not be exceed over these MRL values. In tea, it is 0 0.01 ppm or 0 0.01 mg per kg means it should not be above this uh, 0 0.01 mg per kg. Residue of uh, residue of quinolfa should not be above 0 0.01 mg per kg in tea like that or uh, in potato it should not be above 0 0.5 mg per kg uh, chloroparifos residue should not be above 0 0.5 mg per kg in potato like above this it would be the very much harmful to the human beings like that so reason of pesticide residue in food what would be the reason so let's discuss it uh, indiscriminate use of pesticides uh, so it has been observed that uh, Indian farmers particularly uh, in uh, Punjab Maharashtra Andhra Pradesh and everywhere I think uh, farmers are using pesticide indiscriminately injudiciously so it is indiscriminate injudicious use of pesticides that to the deposition of lethal chemicals in our system farmers are spraying so many times they are using particularly in a paddy 20 times like the 20 spray they are performing in paddy and uh, more than 20 spray they are performing in cotton crop more than 10 spray in vegetable crops like that and this led to the severe problem in our agro ecosystem second is non uh, observation we can say non observation of the waiting period nobody is uh, observing the waiting period of the Earlier we had discussed the waiting period of different chemicals prescribed by the FAOWHO. So now these days we can say farmers are ignoring this waiting period. Farmers are really ignoring waiting periods without checking the waiting periods. So waiting period is a particular period we can say up to which we have to wait uh, before the harvest. Waiting period is a period up to which we have to wait uh, for the harvesting like that. We have to check the, it up to the particular waiting period. But now these days farmers are ignoring this waiting period means they are spraying chemical and next day they are harvesting and we can say transport it to the mandis and uh, we can say storing places. And the third is wrong advice by the pesticide dealer. It is also a very severe problem like that. Uh, farmers are approaching to pesticide dealer and pesticide dealer giving the wrong advice to just enhance uh, their uh, sale like that. So it is also a bad practice by the pesticide dealer to give the wrong advice to the farmers. And uh, we can say continuous use of DDT and other pesticide in public health program. We can say we had done the DDT and we see for eradication of the we can say mosquito and other insects. So it is also a bad practices. Wrong dispersal of uh, pesticide cleaning and plant production equipment really is a bad practice to we can say. Uh, among the farmer and use of substandard pesticide this also becomes a serious problem farmers are using substandard pesticide and it is available easily available in the market 
spurious pesticide or substance pesticides and uh, use of herbicide for aquatic weed uh, yeah it's also a serious problem one should not use much more uh, herbicide uh, to kill the aquatic weed because it also may cause the problem and uh, pesticide application in storage so before storing the our commodity we are using we are dumping lethal chemicals in our storage so these are all the practices among the farmer like that among the community uh, among the community which are responsible for the deposition of pesticide residue in our commodity so source of pesticide residue in animal food like that use of insecticide directly on the animals like that it also a bad practices and pesticide is treated feed and grasses even farmers are spraying pesticide or chemicals in the fodder crop so it would be the very much uh, harmful to the animals and in by doing this practice these uh, lethal chemicals are directly we can say contaminating the milk it is because uh, deposition of these chemicals takes place in the adipose tissues of the animal and thus it uh, contaminate total milk product or milk like that pesticide used in poultry farm and cattle set yeah this is also a bad practice milk processing factories uh, for hygienic treatment against the insects so everywhere we are using the pesticide and ignoring the mrn values ignoring the its ill effect and we are dumping these lethal chemicals everywhere everywhere uh, in every ecosystem like that so there are several method for analysis of pesticide residue in commodities these are the various method by which we can detect the pesticide residue it is a high pressure liquid chromatography gas liquid chromatography ELISA test by this method we can check the uh, we can say we can detect the pesticide residue in the field so now we'll discuss the pesticide residue reported in Indian state so uh, this is information like that in Gujarat, West Bengal, Punjab, Uttar Pradesh so in every state of India we can say pesticide residue have been reported in the food so these are the pesticides and uh, these are the various state uh, in every state it has been reported that pesticide residue is above MRM so it's very much harmful that uh, having the pesticide residue above MRM very much harmful so you can say pesticide residue in different states of India so as earlier we have discussed that uh, uh, in New Delhi, maximum residue have been reported in the vegetable. It's very much harmful. So uh, in UP, uh, like that, followed by the UP. Whereas uh, in UP, maximum residue have been reported in the fruits, particularly mango beret. Like this, uh, this is report. And as uh, residue in food commodity in India, we we'll discuss. Uh, so uh, it has been reported as residue in wheat also. Heptaco, uh, Eldrin, uh, however, it has been banned, but it has been reported in 2003. Three, uh, these uh, all chemicals have been reported in wheat, even in rice. Uh, excessive amount of malathion have been detected in rice, and residue of DDT have been reported in rice samples. Uh, synthetic pyrethroids have been reported in the pulse, like that, in green gram also, and found that also been reported it has been reported in uh, oil mustard oil is, all, uh, is also not safe uh, while discussing the contamination so uh, so many kind of insecticide have also been reported in these oils and uh, high pesticide residue have been reported in these spices like chlorpyrifos diphenthyron cypermethrin these all have been reported these spices and uh, we can say we have categorized the pesticide contamination in different categories so uh, let's see that uh, high level of residue have been reported in tomatoes uh, okra this capsicum so and less dangerous categories we can say these uh, root vegetables carrot uh, these are uh, and uh, garlic uh, these are the beetroot these are the less dangerous category less uh, you know, residue have been reported in this and these are the farm product having the no pesticide residue in this uh, 
in this uh, we can say cucumber banana onion garlic uh, these uh, these are the vegetables uh, in which we have there was no pesticide or to have been reported you see this uh, uh, picture like that in tomato uh, however permissible limit is 0.2 ppm but uh, Chlorpyphos residue was 178.87 ppm. It is much more higher than the permissible limit. It's a really serious problem. Permissible limit is 0.2 ppm and pesticide residue is 178.87. It's beyond limit. Eggplants, it is 0.2 and 24. Lady's finger, it is 0.2 and 2.48. Means every vegetable have much higher quantity of pesticides every vegetables cabbage cauliflower lady's finger egg plants like that what's going on really it's serious problem much serious problem so pesticide residue in vegetables and fruit in pune like that you see that in the tomato uh, 181 like that ppm of Pesticides to have been reported even in Kismis, Kukumbar, these pesticides to have been reported. Uh, in mango, really, 17 ornophosphate have been reported in mango, particularly in Lucknow region. So, consuming mango directly is uh, harmful for our health. Okay, uh, even uh, we can say endosulfan have been reported in cherry. Yes, Melathion and Chlorpyrifos have been put it in mango and it is uh, higher than the MRL values. Even tea is not safe. Ethion, Endosulfan, Dicofol have been put it in tea. So really sipping tea is uh, harmful. It has the pesticide residue. Uh, even uh, some chemicals have been drinking water. See the endosulfan, dialdrin, SCH. However, this uh, dialdrin has been banned, uh, but uh, somewhere uh, it's coming in our chain, it's coming in our water. So it has been reported in uh, organophosphate residue, have been reported in the water. It's harmful, really harmful. And uh, um, in human breast milk is also contaminated. Yeah, it's serious problem. You see this. And it has been reported in the human breast milk and so many kind of chemicals cypermethrin, phenylalanine, fosalone, profenophos, monocotophos. It has been reported in the human breast milk. And uh, these are the comparison of DDT and SS residue in mother milk, in, uh, like this. So, in different countries, uh, uh, this. SCH and DDT have been reported in mother milk. It's also a serious problem. Even in uh, milk, buffalo milk, goat milk, this organophosphate have been reported in goat milk. Amul milk also have the highest trace of pesticide residue in Ahmedabad. Like that. In some sample, it was the highest pesticide residue. Somewhere we can say our honey is also contaminated. So, in honey, we can say so many kind of uh, pesticide have been reported, like melathion, carbamate, or phosphate. Even uh, carbon residue have been reported in egg. However, MRL is 0.5 mg, like that. So it has been reported in egg and uh, meat. However, it was uh, below MRL, like that. In fish also, uh, it has been reported. So you can say food commodities having pesticide residue above MRL. So above MRL, so cauliflower, okra, cabbage, brinjal, apple, pork, poultry, like that. In these food commodity this pesticide residue was above MRL. It's a really burning problem. And uh, by this uh, contamination of our agro-ecosystem or contamination of our 
food commodity Indian trade is at risk like that so many countries have rejected our con consignments uh, so many countries have rejected our uh, we can say export uh, commodities like that export consignments and it has a health hazard it has environmental effect like that so these are the challenge Indian trade is at risk yeah I have told you earlier that so many countries have rejected our consignment so USA find pesticides doing basmati export like that they have rejected our basmati so it's a serious problem to our Indian trade so in the chlor pit uh, in these insecticides really detected in the US consignments and US export commodities so it would be the really really serious problem to our uh, export if uh, we are detecting the con contamination so then immediately they will refuse to carry on this so saudi arabia has banned chili from india and eu rejected three consignment of the okra so these all are due to the excessive use of pesticide excessive contamination of the food so you see this, uh, these countries uh, have rejected our consignments. Uh, you see chili powder, grapes, herbal products, coriander, curry powder. These are the commodities and these are the countries uh, which rejected our consignment. The reason was uh, excessive use of pesticides, heavy metals, pesticides, aflatoxin, pesticides. Even uh, Coca-Cola or these coatings also have pesticide residues. So now we'll discuss the health hazard of this. Uh, it is an uh, acute effect, is uh, skin irritation, eye irritation, dizziness. These are the acute effect, ill effect of the pesticide residues. And a chronic effect, these are the chronic effect is uh, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, neurological impairment, hormonal uh, problem, hormonal disturbance, different kind of cancer. Do you know cancer express is running from the, I think somewhere from Bikane to Mumbai and due to excessive use of the chemical, we can say now cancer patients are increasing number of cancer patients are increasing in our rural areas okay so different kind of cancer you can say skin cancer brain cancer even in uh, we can say premature birth in the baby also have ill effect of pesticide so these are the various disease autism brain tumor like that so major accidents due to the pesticide hazard in kerala we can say 100 people died after consuming the wheat madhya pradesh even in bihar uh, last year i think uh, that problem was there due to the toxic effect of insecticide these are the environmental effect it also affect the food chain directly like that. it deposit in the food chain and it has very harmful environmental uh, we this process accumulation of pesticide in food chain we call the biomagnification it it will accumulate in the uh, secondary consumer and it will magnify its content this process we call the biomagnification deposition of pesticide residue you see uh, this is a farm field and uh, heavy dumping of ddt was there and slowly and slowly it will come to the fish primary consumer secondary consumer and tertiary consumer so it will magnify up to 10 to power 6 times from primary producer to this uh, tertiary consumer like that so it will magnify up to the 10 to power 6 time this process we call the bio magnification it's really big problem big challenge to our ecosystem effects on biodiversity like that so it has very ill effect uh, on the fish or eggs of the birds several birds vultures sarus so it has ill effect over the egg hatching process of the bird so so it has a direct effect on the bird population biodiversity and uh, this is the you can say case study pressure residue in tea samples from india and uh, monitoring of pressure residue in Uttarakhand like that these are the case study 
we have detected pesticide residue in vegetable, particularly in Uttarakhand. Uh, these are the case study, 49 samples have been reported in Mumbai, Bangalore, Delhi, Kolkata. That these are the case study. And most frequently detected pesticides is thio now these are thiomethoxone, cypermethrin, acetamiprid. These are the most frequently detected pesticides in tea, like that, and other commodities. Now, how to manage this pesticide uh, residue in food commodities? So, first, uh, we have to adopt the organic farming IPM biocontrol information about insecticides. It's not the, we can say, it's a really serious problem. We have to think for it. We have to train the farmers about the ill effect of pesticide residue. We have to train the scientists. We have to train the line department and we have to give the training to the farmers. Even uh, pesticide company worker, we have to train it. Uh, so at consumer level, uh, we have to wash, peel or cook the product. At government level, uh, ADI should be, uh, we can say we have to decide the ADI value and regulation of insecticide, <coughs> check the uh, misuse of insecticide check the we have to check the indiscriminate use of pesticide injudicious use of pesticide although it's a very challenging work but we have to do this and uh, government uh, should establish laboratories uh, to check uh, detect the pesticide residue each and every big uh, vegetable and food market market uh, should have its own pesticide detecting laboratories so detection of pesticide residue uh, I think uh, should uh, control the uh, misuse of this pesticide and uh, organic store uh, yeah we have to promote the organic uh, cultivation of fruit and veg particularly fruit and vegetable and organic uh, package and practices should be given to the farmers we have to promote this organic production and uh, government should give the fund to promote the organic production of fruit and vegetables we are and we have to promote the biocontrol agents, biopesticide. We have to manufacture biopesticide, uh, particularly to provide the farmers. And in Indian condition like that, unavailability of biopesticide is a big problem. So we have to manufacture biopesticide in a large amount, biocontrol agent in a large amount. Like that we have to promote the adjectin or neem product to combat this problem. Neem has very good result. Uh, against the insects to repel the insect apply IPM practices yeah integrated management practices we have to incorporate this biocontrol with the chemical control we have to incorporate these cultural practices with the chemical control so uh, integration of cultural mechanical biocontrol and chemical control we call the IPM so like that uh, we have to use we should use the standard pesticide and uh, we have to check the spurious pesticide or fake pesticides and consideration of waiting period to pesticide before the harvest which is a really a good point we have to consider the waiting period of pesticide before harvest we have trained the farmer towards the waiting period before the harvest and training to the farmers really up to the kvk level or line department level we should give training to the farmers and reveal the all the impact of insecticides to and in consumer point of view, washing with 2% salt, water will remove the contact pesticide residue. And about 75 to 80% of pesticide residue are removed by the cold water washing. And uh, like that in grapes, apple, guava, plum, vegetables like that, 75 to 80% of pesticide residue removed by the cold water washing. And uh, 20 gram salt per 20 ml vinegar in one liter of water dipped cauliflower for 10 minutes like that it will remove the contact pesticide so these are the good practice washing with 2% salt solution or cold water washing or 20 gram salt plus 20 ml vinegar so peeling also is a good uh, effect by we have to peel the these vegetables it will remove the this pesticide and animal product we should cook it 
and dairy product we should cook it properly uh, to remove the residues and in government level adi calculation must be at time of registration yes and uh, product uh, production and regulation of pesticides should also be based on the mrl or adi like that so every food vegetable or every commodity has its own mrl or adi prescribed by the fao or who so one should check this mrl or adi we have to train the farmer towards the use of mrl or adi like that or waiting period also farmer should wait uh, before the harvesting so uh, food commodities should be uh, periodically tested for the pesticide content and consumers and farmers should be aware about the presence of banned pesticide in their food information about the pesticides should be translate into the local language circulate into the public yeah this is a very good point like that we have to train the farmer we have to provide the knowledge to the farmers in local language extension worker regulated for the farmers about the pesticide resistance yeah so these are the various projects running in india to combat the pesticide issues in icr even in some national agencies so these are the quarantine centers like that quality control lab also established in uh, every we can say quarantine centers and uh, kochi nello like that which detect the pesticide residue of our communities and to develop the handling kit uh, yeah it's a uh, future prospects we have to develop the kit easy kick to kit technique to detect the pesticide as to uh, until the, unless the easy detection practices is not coming in the farmers community so it will be very much difficult to control this uh, ill effect of pesticides as to so we have to check the we have to check the this pesticide flow in our agro ecosystem so so that we should have the easy handling kit for that so finally i want to conclude that we should use the pesticide in judicious manner we should check the indiscriminate or injudicious use of pesticide and we have to um, and say provide awareness in the people and uh, by meaning of training demonstrations so emphasis on the future research like that to develop the easy handling kit to detect the pesticide residue and actions in worker at the various level should be trained so by doing this we can check the flow of these lethal chemicals in our system thank you very much